Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omogbe. A very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Let's take you uh, to the news making the rounds from this part of the world. And of course, we start with the Nigeria Professional Football League. Let's talk about Rivers United uh, this morning. Second uh, away win for that team. Uh, of course, on week 11, the only team to secure an away uh, victory. And of course, it was courtesy of a 2-0 uh, victory over Adamawa United goes from uh, Junior Ozage, uh, Malachi Ohaume, uh, gave uh, Rivers United the well-deserved victory. <laughs> Let's go to preparations yeah. for the Olympics, for the Olympics yes. and quality advice mm -hmm. coming from um, a sports administrator who's been yeah. there, done there, knows, um, understands uh, the intricacies of, of the, the of the of, of sports, <laughs> the behind the scenes of, of sports. Some of the things we don't get to know. We see the problems, and um, from the other side, they see the problems, and they are quick to say it's not as if they don't want to do anything, but things appear things we don't see always. Happen. But this time is talking about uh, what the sports minister did, how good it was, and uh, I'm talking about Bukola Olakwa, the former commissioner of um, uh, sports in Ogun State, and, and and he's saying, look, more athletes need to be adopted into that uh, scheme to ensure that, look, when we're talking about Tokyo 2020, even though we say that um, maybe what we're doing is too late, but if we still adopt some more athletes than the ones that we have, maybe uh, it might increase our chances of getting more uh, medals at the Olympics. Yeah, absolutely. Let's listen to him right now. I take a cue from the event of a few days ago where the Adopt an Athlete Initiative was launched. It was amazing, it was emotional. At a, at a stage, I, I think three or four people raised up their hands to adopt uh, Ola Gure, the, the wrestler. And this just tell, tells you that there's, there's an ingenious way with which the Honorable Minister is moving. And with that, I believe strongly that the responsibility of not only raising effective funding for athletes to, to do well will, will be achieved, but the, 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 the ambition to ensure that we hit the medal table would be achieved. I'm very optimistic this time around, despite the short period. Like the table tennis champion now for wheelchair, he's qualified for Paralympics, and already there's funding, he's been adopted, there's funding for him to at least start training and attend competitions, which will put him in the right frame of mind to ensure that at the Paralympic Games, he comes out tops in his category. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what everyone is expecting when the Olympics start and also Paralympics. I love, I love the fact that we're building up to this mm -hmm. and we are hearing good news, you know, something good is really coming up and some of these athletes, not all of them have been ad adopted, but the ones that have been adopted, the thing is they wouldn't have to worry yeah. about phones and all the going for competitions. The only thing they have to do is to focus Staying focused, and when you're focused and having more games to yourself and all the more tournaments to attend, the experience and all will count when you're competing like, against the best and like in the world. And like sports people will say, once that happens to you, your head will be in the right place. <laughs> Absolutely. If your head is in the right place, you're going to get good results. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw Odwai uh, Alokuri telling us how she was not informed going Absolutely. into the last yeah. Olympics, how the calendar wasn't managed well, and how she was thanking uh, those behind the initiative of the Adopt an Athlete uh, program, how she was thanking them. And I guess that's why Bukola Lokwade is, is saying that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I share his optimism. He's, he's okay, naturally a very optimistic guy. Uh, that's why I like him. But I don't know if I share his optimism because he's saying it's part of the fact that we are saying the time is short. If we adopt more of these athletes, we can get on the medal table. Okay, uh, we just want a good performance. First of all, then we'll think about the medal table because according to most of these former athletes, they said that for you to prepare an athlete for the Olympics, it takes more than four years. So when you're finishing this Olympics, you're preparing for the next one. Immediately. So we're having, yeah, absolutely. So by now we should be having someone like Kudua, you're having as much as maybe a thousand or whereabouts matches and all that. You know, before we'll see. Time. We'll see. Maybe okay. the Nigerian can yeah. do spirit will take us there. <laughs> we'll see. But but let's go <laughs> to what we were so eager to uh, talk about: um, <laughs> grassroots sports development. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a foundation that has been doing so well uh, in Lagos and its environs, discovering talents and, and ensuring that uh, there's a lot of progression, yeah. a lot of talents uh, discovered, a lot uh, being done uh, in Lagos. Our man Austin uh, was uh, had this. Uh, events caught up with a lot of a lot of people 
and um, we, we must give kudos to, to the organizers uh, doing a good job uh, with this, talking about the Sheya uh, yeah. Charity Foundation, uh, doing a good job to ensure that talents are discovered, yeah. uh, giving them a good uh, platform. And it was a big draw. The, spe mm -hmm. the speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bredo Biamila, was, was there. Yeah, a lot of people who are involved with sports, sports administrators, yeah. key cr critical Chuma, stakeholders. Also. Yes, well, they <laughs> graced the occasion uh, and it was very good. <laughs> Absolutely, and this is him right there, the kickoff. And the, the game you're seeing right now is a, a match between the Mess Palace Academy, that's Jaws versus Eco, a football team. They were the ones who played this particular charity game. And a lot, you know, has been said about it. This is the sixth edition, mm -hmm. the sixth edition right now. And with what have been, has been done, I mean, said talents have been discovered and these kids have been saying that they even want to kind of make a movie, a film, out of what they've been doing. I'm mm -hmm. talking about Shea Akewumi now. Where he's been talking about this and it's also want people, more people to actually support this yeah. uh, charity foundation so that, you know, the essence is to actually send kids to school. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of, you know, uh, players that have actually benefited from this particular initiative. Let's hear from him and also the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Femi Bajabi Adnil. Oh yeah, certainly. Um, we, we took it step by step, you know. Once we are gathered here, then we've met the objectives. Um, in terms of funding for the kids, you know, we have people who have always helped us. Uh, we're glad that, you know, uh, God has been there for us. So, we're, we're quite happy to grow year by year. Uh, so we're happy. Oh yeah, we've got loads of testimonies indeed. Um, very soon, a short story um, film or short film is going to come out. Uh, and this idea came from the kids themselves. So they, want to, they want to say a story. Um, for example, there's one who apparently when they won, um, when he got scholarship last year, we didn't know that he had, the parents had just received a letter from the school with drawing that child. So, you know, uh, there are lots of them we're, we're very happy with what we're doing. You can't even, you can't um, overstate the importance. It's absolutely important. Sports anywhere in the world, um, it's not just government. You don't leave it to government. Government cannot handle it alone, especially in a country where you have about 180, 190 million people. Uh, a sizable fraction of those are young, uh, young boys and girls um, who have talent, uh, who have passion, who are committed to the sport but unfortunately they have nobody to support them. Um, that's why charities such as this and individuals such as um, Mr. Akiumi, uh, people that are this is what they say, unsung heroes in Nigeria. Um, because he's put his time, his energy, his effort, his experience um, into this, to develop the young ones. And um, hopefully, hopefully, this is the sixth edition, it will continue and from this, a lot of things, there will be a ripple effect, a lot of things will, there are other things that are benefits from this. The charity is for education, especially for those who do not have um, the capacity or the wherewithal, economic wherewithal to go to school, indigent students. And um, so it's, 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 it's a real charity, a good charity, and uh, which I encourage Nigerians to support. Speaker of House of Representatives talking about the charity foundation. I love the fact that they actually support supporting this, you know, because this is a way, uh, not just in terms of training a child to school and also getting more talent. And Mess uh, Academy in Jaws, also they're doing a great job in trying to do that too. I mean, what else can we say? I mean, it's always good to put uh, your money where your mouth is. And, yes. And, 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 and that's why, the, no matter the way you look at it, you must give Chaya Kimomi praise for this and uh, all the benefits that the young lads will get. They're, they're being presented with opportunities they probably wouldn't get mm -hmm. in their lifetime. Uh, both of us have seen yeah. players who could have been the next Zinedine Zidane but didn't get uh, the opportunity. And you know, the years, as the year rolls by, your talent and everything just fizzles, <laughs> fizzles out. And so that's what happened. Still talking about that uh, occasion, uh, you had the NFF second vice president, Sheo Diko, was also uh, at the event and he had, um, Nice words for uh, the organizers. Well, I mean, of course, the main man is his colleague uh, in the Nigerian Football Federation. He says he's very happy uh, with uh, uh, the abundance of talents uh, that, that he's seen and uh, the number of talents being discovered by the foundation. Well, it's very brilliant. You can see the small boys here playing from Jaws or from Lagos. Big talent. But the issue that how do you make this consistent? It shouldn't be periodic. It shouldn't be uh, ceremonial. 
it should be a daily affair, a weekly affair for these guys, for these kids. And which is exactly what she is trying to do, raising funds to support the kids, using sports, using football. And I think all of us have to learn this way. Everybody has to contribute that way. And, and I believe the NFL uh, and the league are putting socials to ensure that we keep playing this uh, on a consistent level. That's why even the LMC now are discussing with La Liga to start on the 12. Because that's the basic, that's the foundation. You can't just get top talent overnight. You need to build them from this level. And you can see them here. So I think um, we have to learn the positives and the way this is going. And then um, I think going forward, we'll get it right. Going forward, we'll get it right. And um, that, that, that will inspire yeah. confidence. Um, if we can start doing the little things right. You know, and um, the ripple effect yeah. is that by the time everything comes together, we we'll get it right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why I'm very happy with this. And I hope there will be more uh, from other well-meaning uh, individuals. Do it and back it up and, 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 and ensure that you monitor growth and, and do a lot of things. And before you know it, some of the issues we have um, in this country as regards grassroots like sports... I wasn't going there. Okay. <laughs> Grassroots, <laughs> sports development, all of those things will nip it in the board and we'll begin to go in the right direction. Absolutely. That's our hope.